everyone, and welcome back to Horse Haven! We are over here in our UK ranch, getting ready to start the day by pulling up some of our delicious turnips. I just love this little field. Isn't it so cute? It's just right over- <gasps> You know what we need to surround it with is clovers! That would be amazing! It's so cute! It's just right over here next to our little barn. I don't ever really want to upgrade it because I just love the idea of having a simple little turnip field, like right- like a little personal garden right outside of our little house. And I actually think it would be really fun to surround this with clover fields so just a few of them here and there we might go and snag a clover field or two from our German ranch and see how it looks over here but yes welcome back to the UK ranch everybody welcome back to horse haven it's been a little while I apologize for that if you guys would like to see more horse haven just let me know in the comments and let me know what you would like to see do you want us to do some races would you like to tackle some of the daily quest or how about visiting as many of you guys in the comment section as I possibly can that would be really fun I really get a kick out of being able to go and see the ranch is where you guys have decorated quite a bit. And look at this! Look at our horse! Its head is sticking through this tree! <laughs> It's kind of hilarious. It's like she's poking her head through the bushes. I really like that actually. That's adorable. All right, but let's go ahead and get started for the day. So let's see what mail we've got. All right, apparently I've got to invite more of my Facebook friends. We'll work on that. Thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand. It really helps out with the money so that I can actually get ready to go through and breed up all of our horses looking for rare baby foals. It would be so exciting to get some rare ones this time around. Thank you guys so much to all of you unknowns who have popped by to visit my village. Thank you so much to the people who have used my horses for social breeding because, oh my gosh, it really helps to get that kind of money because then I can turn around and try to breed up some really beautiful horses. All right. Ranchers, horse haven. Oh, it's one year old now. All right. Tell us what you think. Wow. I haven't realized it's been a year. Well, I might go and tell them what I think about all of the improvements. I think that they're awesome. Also, I think I would love flowers and I want to add more flowers everywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and harvest some things up today. More turnips, lots of lettuce, a few pumpkins, anything that you guys want. Well, this one right over here, Nafa, she actually wants some turnips. So what are our projects today? Well, we're gonna try to breed up for some rare horses, including the Cancer Horse. The Cancer Horse is one that we're still working on trying to breed. It's been a little while. We've got a Shire at least. So we have our second Shire. This one is actually a female. And we do need to combine a Shire and, let's see, an Icelandic in order to be able to get to the Cancer Horse. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to sell this little one. Sorry, Hera. All right, so we're gonna let Hera go because we need to go find a female Icelandic. Ah, oh, I remember. Okay, so we're gonna go and look for a female Icelandic in just a minute. Let's make sure we get some red salads made up because I see somebody wants some red salad. Let's make sure we replant the fields. I want to put some watermelon down. There we go. We'll get some delicious pumpkin put in. I don't think any of my horses have asked for watermelon just yet, so maybe I'm growing it too early, but we'll wait and see. All right, and Lucky, you're almost a level 10. Let's go ahead and feed you up, buddy. I think we've had Lucky for like a very long time, but we are running tight on stable space, so we're gonna have to make some painful decisions pretty soon. Now this little one, Daisy! Hi, sweetie. I think that she was actually being raised up for diamonds. Oh, sweet, there was a little bit of money in her feed. Is she almost ready? Wow, she's nowhere close to being ready to being sold for diamonds, so we're just gonna have to hold on to her. Then we have our handsome Shire horse, Trojan. And Trojan, we're gonna try to find him a beautiful female Icelandic to breed with in just a little bit. So we're back on the hunt. That's what we're gonna be doing today, is going on the search for another female Icelandic. Let's check the daily quest really quickly. Yay, we gathered up 3,000 coins. Harvest eight sweet feed, run 1,200 meters in the Australian steeplechase. And I don't know if they fixed it yet, but that can actually be any of the steeplechases last I checked. Harvest eight green feed and sell a female horse at the German ranch. Interesting. All right, well, let's pop over to the other ranches and see how the German ranch is doing real quick. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, we made it! All right, so maybe the jumping between ranches little bug is almost fixed. That would be awesome. All right, let's go through. We're gonna clean up our fields and we're gonna see if we can snag a clover or two while we're over here because I've been meaning to open up this field over there and turn it into a clover field full of gnomes and mushrooms like at one point in the future. All right, let's gather up these emeralds. Very awesome. Cool, so our mines really got a lot of emeralds today. And then let's see, what do we need to do over here? We're still trying to breed up our brumbies. That was our big goal. And I do have a mythic, so we wanna raise jade up for diamonds, but I am kind of, 
<laughs> I'm kind of overflowing with horses, so I'm going to have to make some decisions about who stays and who goes. All right, well, let's come over here. Here's Woody. He is our tier three. There you go, Woody. So we'll go ahead. Now he is up to level nine. If we can raise him up to level 10, then he will actually be worth a lot of uh, diamonds. So we want to keep him around to level 10. And then here's Leah. And she's actually almost ready to go too. Oh my gosh. I need to get over here and more diligently feed these guys or else then we'd have so many diamonds. All right, so we'll feed her. And we just need a little bit of room somewhere. Night, what are we gonna do with all of your children? What are we gonna do? I need a little bit of room. I think I might have to sell the pony. <laughs> Cause we're out of room inside of our, our um, inside of our stables too. But actually, let's see what it would take to breed. Oh, look at this. We just got a new reward. For getting all oh, sweet, we got 10 diamonds because we have increased our horse collection for tier twos. Well, that's pretty exciting. All right, and let's come over and what would it take to actually breed up an Icelandic? So let's see what Icelandic, there we go. What they are, they need Kongyar ponies and halflingers. We actually have a halflinger, don't we? Shetland pony, pony or Dutch warm bloods. Let's see. Hmm, so we do have a halflinger. That's actually Natha over at the UK ranch. So do we have Nikamir? I don't think we do. And then let's see, Shetland. So it doesn't look like doesn't look like any of the ponies. Oh, level 13. Good job, Athena. It doesn't look like Athena's type would actually lead to the Icelandic. So I think we might go ahead and have Athena find a wonderful new family to go live with. Which is a little bit sad, but that's just it's the way it works in this world, guys. It's the way it works. All right, thank you, Athena. Off you go. There we go. Oh, and we actually needed that for a quest too, didn't we? So boom, that worked out pretty well. All right, we'll put little Jade away. And then let's come over and we're gonna breed up her parents. So let's grab Knight and we're gonna grab, dun dun dun, Kareen. And we're gonna see if we can end up with the tier four <gasps> right there, the beautiful tier four, 8% chance. And we're gonna cross our fingers and we're going for that tiny sliver of pink for the little foals, you guys. Oh, <gasps> Okay. 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 Yes! <laughs> Our tier for Australian Brumby! Is it gonna be? It's a little girl! What should we name her? She's not gonna be named Wizard. She's gonna get a whole new name. We need like a new theme. I kind of want to go with the medieval sort of theme because we have Knight and Queen. And now I want to name her like, ah, maybe Hime? Or no, well, let's go for something more like medieval European, uh, maybe Odette? <gasps> let's name her Odette after the Swan Princess. What do you guys think? I think Odette is gonna be perfect and then we can get the little like swan statues, the golden swan statues she's in here okay so you guys next time we come back we are going to be seeing little odette born our very first tier for australian brumby i'm kind of in shock that we managed to stumble on a tier four australian brumby that that was i was i was just like oh you know it never happens eight percent chance there we go we did it so it's our lucky day you guys all right, and we're gonna feed her siblings, her tier three siblings up. There you go, Jade, have some soybeans. So that they will be ready to go. Ooh, and actually she wants some orange feed, so we'll just kind of perch here for a second. But we will feed her siblings so that they're ready to go for diamonds, but I can't believe that. We have our first tier four Australian Brumby full. That's exciting. There we go. All right, there you go, Jade. So she's doing well. She's really got the appetite. Oh my goodness. And then what are you again, my little friend? This is a Dana. A tier two Australian Brumby. I totally didn't recognize the Australian Brumbies as a tier two. That's so hilarious. All right, and you know what we need to do? We need to go buy some of those clovers like I was thinking about because, you know, clovers are lucky day. If you collect clovers, you might find a four leaf clover. I just feel like it's all coming in together. All right, and just let me feed these guys again. I guess we'll focus on feeding the horses up in the German ranch today and we'll... Well, our luck didn't hold out with the, the game not having a little bit of a hiccup, but that's fine, because we're back. We're back and we're feeding our German horses so that they'll be ready to find new homes. I am still just tickled pink. I'm so excited. All right, so, oh, and then, uh, okay. This is the last time though, little guy, little girl even, little Jade. 
There you go. Well, I say that, but actually feeding the horses, don't forget, not only does it help them to gain experience, it helps you to gain a lot of experience too. The higher the level your experience, the more things that you can unlock and achieve. So it is it is worth it to feed the horses. Honestly, I've gotten the most experience from feeding the horses than doing any of the farming or any of the like food making. All right, so we fed up little Jade again, and let's go ahead and snag some clovers. So we're going to grab a clover or two, and then I'm going to put it down. Do, 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 do. Where, oh, where are the clovers? I know you're here. I know you hide in the German ranch. I wish that these flags were sortable. Ah, there we go. All right. So we're going to grab like one or two of these little clovers, maybe three, because odd numbers actually are more attractive on the eye. And we're going to put them into storage so that we can go and see what they look like over in the UK ranch in a little bit. And oh my goodness, fine. If you guys want a pumpkin, like pumpkins are pretty good in experience points, I think. So we'll feed this one a pumpkin. There you go. Oh, pff, pretty good in experience points. And they're like 50 experience points. Well, never mind. Apparently pumpkins weren't as awesome as I thought they were. But I know this is pretty awesome. Oh, and we need to set the sweet feed to be made, don't we? For our daily quest. It's been a long time since I've been able to fill the daily quest because sometimes they can be a little bit tricky. But all right, we'll get some sweet feed started because I'm pretty sure that's what was needed. Yeah. Hey, sell a female horse. What? It didn't count. Fine. You know what, daily quest? I'm just going to ignore you today because we're, we're celebrating other things for now. That's fine. But I have used up a lot of the mixed fruit feed. So we'll go ahead and get some of the fruit feed going, just because I know I've used quite a bit of it. All right, there we go. And we'll gather up some cherries really quickly. And then we'll go ahead and let's go over to our French ranch and see if... All right, and we are here. Ignore the hiccuping. Oh my goodness, it's really, it's so silly. All right, so let's go ahead and just really quickly clean things up because now that we have been so, so lucky as to get the tier four Australian Brumby full, I want to see if we can go and find that female Icelandic that we are looking for, for the cancer horse, because it's almost gone. We only have about another week for the cancer horse, so I really need to get moving on that. It took forever to get a Shire, but you guys were so excited about the Shire. It was awesome. All right, and then let's see. Anything else I'm worried about? No, not really. All right. We'll take care of these. We'll see what's for sale at the carnival this week. Hmm, I think I'm good. I'm good. And then we'll come over and let's try breeding up our horses. It's going to be so expensive. Apple the second and Lucy. And it is quite expensive to breed them. But you know what? We had some pretty good luck with getting the tier 4 Australian Bromby. So what about the tier 3? <gasps> oh, it was such a cheese. It was so close <laughs> for just a second there. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, wait. What? What? Uh... Mmm, man. All right, so it's like it's predetermined. It just it just wasn't rolled. All right, well, that was kind of amazing because I was like, hey, if we have a second chance, I don't mind that at all. All right, little Faye, I'm going to go ahead and feed you. Very pretty. I love these horses. I really think I could become just a Pisces breeder. And then I also, oh, and you want some salad, so I'll feed you the salad in just a second. And I'm also thinking that now that we have two tier four, um, two tier four Arabians, we might actually hold off on breeding the Arabians for a little while because yeah, look at that salad makes some horses grow healthy. Yay. We might hold off on breeding the Arabians and focus on a different breeding goal over in the Montana ranch because I don't want to tie all of our ranches up into having to focus on breeding like very specific rare horses. These guys are focused on breeding up the Pisces and then we're trying to breed the Cancer over in the UK ranch and the Australian Brumbies over in the German ranch. So I think that the Montana ranch is actually going to be freed up for other projects like trying to complete our horse collections. There we go. Yay, we made it. But yeah, because we do have beautiful tier fours now, which I'm super excited about. But I really want to work on filling out the horse, like the horsepedia and getting as many of them as we can at least once. Like we've never had this one. Um, we've never had like a Shetland pony, apparently tier one. So I think that's what we're going to start working on here is just kind of focusing on. Oh, we've never had a tier one Australian Brumby. Wow. 
We're just going to focus on kind of the more low level stuff and build up all of the horsepedias. So that's going to be our goal is filling all of these out. I mean, we don't, we've never even had a Clydesdale. So the, the Montana ranch may be dedicated to trying to breed really uncommon varieties of horses. And there's another Australian Brumby mythic. So yeah, we might focus on, or not on common varieties, we might focus on the Montana Ranch just being for the varieties that we've not had before. All right, there you go, little guy. All right, and now that you are getting your apples, we're good to go. So I think we need to see if anybody can be sold. Hello, my beautiful tier us. We need to see if anybody, Black Beauty, for crying out loud. You've been here forever, my friend. We need to see if they can be sold for diamonds, and we need to focus on getting both Nightshade and Night Candy up to level 15. And once we do that, Nightshade's almost there. Sending them over to the German Ranch because that completes a big quest. So there's uh, one of the large quests is to get, I think, three tier 15, or three <laughs> tier 15, oh my gosh, three level 15 horses in the German Ranch. And I want it to be these two. So we won't have an unusual horse like we are a new variety I shouldn't say unusual we won't have a new variety of horse here on the Montana ranch today but we might actually be able to complete our horsepedia by just coming over to the little market and doing some shopping now and then and just picking somebody up like the Tennessee walking I'm not going to spend that much on <laughs> oh no 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 my precious diamonds are not going to be going there all right, so that is all taken care of, and I believe that should be good. So let's go back up and pop over to the UK ranch, and now we're going to be looking for that female Icelandic pony. And then we'll try breeding it with Trojan, our horse, our big old, our big old Shire horse. All right, and let's see. We'll also see if we can feed Daisy up. There we go. So what we want out of this is to either get a cancer horse by breeding against the female Icelandic or we need to get a female Icelandic of our own to keep on our ranch with our beautiful... He is gorgeous. <laughs> I kind of want to work on getting the higher tier Shires after this. Oh my goodness, he really is one of the most beautiful horses. All right, so let's go searching, you guys. We're going to dive in. I think I'm gonna go ahead, what about Skull Candy? Let's go visit with Skull Candy and see what she's got going on in her UK ranch. Cause I'm pretty sure there should be some Icelandics kicking around over here too. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at this, Scotland ponies, Shetland ponies. Oh wow, there's so many ponies. They're very cute. All right, let's see if there's an Icelandic. If she's got all of those ponies, let's see if she has an Icelandic hiding at her German ranch. I may not visit like each and every, oh. Look at that dressed up. What? That's so cool. Look at how pretty. Skull Candy, I always love visiting your place. I may not pop by each and every one of the, the ranches that everybody has because we're just going to have fun kind of doing drive-by searches right now. That's kind of half the fun of it, isn't it? Like, it's not really that frustrating if we don't find who we're looking for because I just love seeing what you guys have out and what you guys have to offer. All right, let's go ahead and visit Laura. Let's pop over to her UK ranch. I'm kind of visiting some of the UK ranches because I want to see if I can harvest some of their food. Darn! Alright, can't harvest any of the food here, but that's okay. Beautiful Black Forest. The Black Forest is definitely one of the ones that I have been hoping to start breeding up in the future. And then what about April? Let's pop over and visit April. And then I'll start yanking it further to zip down to even lower levels. Look at all the hats! Oh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. So many hats. Somehow I'm not even I'm not even concerned if we don't find an Icelandic. It'll be okay. I can't remember. I need to write them down and I never do because I can't remember who actually has them. Wait, was it Kim? I remember going, thank you so much. Like I was so excited. Was it Katie? Hmm. Oh my gosh. Look at all the cuties. So many Aries. <gasps> look and we can help out. Yes. I wanted to do some gardening. Ah, oh, now I'm happy. All right. Well, that made me pretty darn happy. And she's busy upgrading over here. Katie, was it you? I feel like I visited somebody. Was it Karsted? Okay, we're going to go pop over to Katie's place. I feel like I just visited somebody's place. And I was like, of course they would have one. <gasps> Is that it? Ah, it was you, Katie. Okay, we found it. Well, I'm pretty happy. All right. Oh, and look at this shire. It has a little flower. It has a little top hat on. We need to put more hats on our horses. Don't you guys think? That's something that we might need to do. All right, let's go ahead. And we are going to breed Trojan and Paris together. <laughs> I see what you did there, Katie. And we're going for this one right here. We're going for the little cancer horse. 
So let's see if our luck holds out. Our luck from our tier four Australian Brumby translated to another awesome Shire. You know what? That's okay. All right. And I'll have to just pop back uh, maybe later today and see if we're going to have any luck with getting an Icelandic or a Cancer Horse. And I will see you guys over here next time. Let's wrap up with our, our last little things, though. I almost forgot. All right. Let's pop over to the dun -da -da, Pure Breeder Society and collect up all of the gemstones. I wonder if they know I'm just using them for gemstones at this point. So a historic tour ride. I think Willow would enjoy that. She needs to get out and stretch her legs. And then we're going to come over here and a polo club, huh? Now, I could see Starburn really liking that, um, but I'm going to put Phoenix out in it because he also hasn't gotten out for a little while. So there's those, and let's wrap up with our trivia challenge of the day. What is the name of the only pony breed native to Germany? This one? Nope. <laughs> what color is the roof of the train station in the game? I think it's green. Yes! It's because I love the color green. In game, which ranch... Oh, that would be the French ranch. Yes! Could grow apple trees. There we go, you guys. All right. Well, now I know that Katie definitely has that female Icelandic, so it's not a mystery of where to find it. And we're just going to continue taking care of our horses. And next time we pop by, you guys are going to see what the tier four Australian Brumby is going to look like. And we're going to name her Odette, and she is going to be beautiful and awesome. And it's going to be really fun to share her with you. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.